An important concept in the first semester of calculus is um, the concept of a tangent line, which measures the instantaneous rate of change at a given point in time, usually. And um, so early on, we have to understand how secant lines and tangent lines interact. And that's what this question is addressing. And I'm going to show you how to evaluate a question like this in Mathematica. So the question says a tank holds 1,000 gallons of water, which drains from the bottom of the tank in half an hour. The values in the table show volume of water V remaining in the tank in gallons after T minutes. And so you can see the table here. Um, and these are, you can consider these like ordered points. So it says if P is the point, part A, says if P is the point 15 to 50 on the graph of V, find the slopes of the secant lines PQ when Q is the point on the graph with these times, 5, 10, 20, 25, and 30. Okay, so normally in a notebook you'd have to just do a lot of scratch work and a lot of calculation. Mathematica can handle this pretty quickly. So a few things I want to do, I want to list um, A to be 15. When I put a semicolon on it, that means that the output will be suppressed, because I don't really need to see that at the moment. B is going to be the point 250, so AB is the point of interest. And the other points, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to write in a list. So remember, lists use squiggly brackets. And Mathematica treats ordered points as a list in themselves. So each one of the elements of your list is actually a list in itself. All right, so this is just for my table. I have 5, 694, 10, 44. I'm going to skip 15 to 50 because that's the point of interest. And I'm just putting in everything else. 25, 28, and lastly, 30, 0. Okay, so now I have A, B, and my points list. Um, and so I didn't suppress that output, so you can see it here as a list. And now I want to define a slope function that will generate the slope. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I'm going to call my slope function m. And I use hard brackets because it's a, a function. And my function input is going to be an ordered pair that looks like this, x, comma, y. And even though we're dealing with t's, it's not really a big deal. This is fine. And I'm going to define it to be um, y minus b, the difference of the y's, divided by the difference of the x's. And now remember, I know what a, um, a and b are. We define those. And the reason I did it this way is in the event that I would want to change what my initial point was, it wouldn't be too hard to do. Okay, now just to test to see if this is working, I'm going to type in the point um, 5694, so my first one. And uh, the fraction negative 222 over 5. Now, if I wanted to make that uh, a decimal, I could use the numeric function. And so I use the numeric percent. I'll take the numeric value of the previous output, so I get negative 44.4. And I've decided that I'd rather deal with that than like negative 222 over 5. So I'm going to redefine my m function to be, I'm going to put the numeric function around my statement here. So now when I evaluate, I get decimals. Okay, now also, I can evaluate all the points at the same time. And I'm going to call this list slopes. And here's how you do it. You use the map function. And I'm going to map my function m over the list points. Okay, so when I do that, I should get an output of negative 44.4, negative 38.8, etc. Et and those are the slopes that I was looking for. So those are the slopes of my secant lines. Now, if I want to write this where I can easily uh, see it, I'm going to use table form. And I want a table that looks like points and slopes. So now I'm going to hit enter. There it is. And so each column represents, there's my x, my T value, there's my V value, and there's the slope of the secant line. And remember that slope of the secant line is referencing with point 15 to 50. Okay, so there are my there are my slopes. Alright, now part B says we're trying to estimate the slope of the tangent line. So in other words, what's going on right at P by averaging the slopes of the two secant lines? Okay, so um, that's not too bad, actually. 
So I'm going to use two secant lines. Let's pick something close to 15. How about the 10 and the 20 and use those slopes as my average. So all I have to do then is just type in, um, just like a calculator, my two slopes and divide by two. I add them together and divide by two and there it is, negative 33.3. Okay. Now um, let's see if we can get a graph that makes sense of this value, negative 33.3. So first of all, how do I um, graph the points in my table? Well, I can use the list plot function and I'm going to list points, but I also want the one point that I left out, which would be, um, I have to make another list and that have that one ordered pair in there, 15 to 50. Okay, great. And you need to make sure you get your um, your parentheses and brackets and stuff in the right place. It's easy to get mixed up on that. If you get an error statement, that probably is what's wrong. All right, and so there it is. There's my graph. Okay, and I can see the orange is the new point 15250. So what I want to do now is figure out is um, is this a, is the negative 33.3 .3 a pretty good estimate of this? So I'm going to actually graph. Um, this, this, this list plot with uh, the secant lines and a line that I'm going to call tangent that's going to use this as an estimation of the tangent slope. Okay, so first let's define that tangent function and I'm going to use an input of t and so remember your um, the slope of a line, I mean the equation of a line would be m times x minus x1 of some known point plus y1, the y-coordinate of some known point. So I have that. I have my slope. I have t minus 15 is the input that I'm interested in. And the output would be 250. Okay, so that would give me the slope of the line, or the line passing through 15, 250 with a slope of negative 33.3. Now I'm going to call this guy secant 1. And secant 1 is going to be uh, the the first slope that we found, the negative 38.8, that's the with the value 10 right here, 10, 44, negative 38.8. And I'm picking this because we use that to estimate um, the slope. And what I'm wanting to do here is a little bit beyond what the question asks. I want to compare the secant lines to the estimated tangent line we came up with. And so I'm going to do the same thing with secant 2. And this time I'm using slope uh, negative 27.8, t minus 20, plus that y value, which would be 111. Okay, so now I have all those. I want to plot those with my list plot. So the way I can do that is say, first of all, let's label this plot. We'll call it our list plot equals. So now anytime I say list plot just by itself, it don't, Mathematic understands I'm talking about this graph. So I'm going to say show. I'm going to make a list because I want to li plot several things. List plot. That would be my list plot. And the plots of my, my three lines. So I'm going to say plot. Adding a list. Tangent. Secant 1. And secant 2. Okay. And let's model those. How about going from, oh, I don't know. How about from 5 to 25? So they don't, need, they don't need to take the whole graph. And let's see, did I get everything I need? I need to close my plot and close my list within the show function. Okay, I think I'm good now. So I'm going to hit Enter or Shift Enter. There it is. I have my list plot. I have my, my points. And you notice these three lines are all passing through this orange spot. The blue line is only passing through the orange spot. That would be my tangent line. And you see that blue slope. Okay, that's the slope we estimated. Does it do a pretty good job of modeling what we think the curvature of this um, would be right at that spot? It's not too bad. The green line, if you notice, passes through the orange point and the, line, the 20 
111 coordinate right there. So that would be the secant line through those two. And the yellow line goes through my yellow plot and the point uh, 10, 440, or 444. And so that shows you the secant line between those two. And so I averaged the slope of the yellow and the slope of the green. I got the slope of the blue. And that's how I did that. So it's not that's not an exact science, but maybe close to this plot, that's not a bad idea. All right, I hope this makes sense. I hope, I hope it introduces how to use Mathematica some and how to evaluate some of the early stages of calculus using Mathematica. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching. <laughs>